Most viewers from North America who follow my YouTube channel are probably aware for the famous hickory horn devil, Citheronia regalis from North America. This is not a hickory horn devil. So why did I mention it anyway? Well, because this species is very closely related, although it's not the same. In the video title you'll notice that I've labeled it as Citheronia azteca. This is the scientific name of this species. The actual, the real hickory horned devil has the scientific name Citheronia regalis. Citheronia azteca and Citheronia regalis are two completely different species, even though they look nearly identical. So what are the differences? Well, first of all the caterpillars. Do you remember my videos of uh, when I raised this moth last year as caterpillars? Let me show you some footage. What an incredible monster guys. Today I'm back with the same caterpillars I showed you last week but even bigger. I can't believe how much they are growing. I've said that they were smaller than the Citheronia regalis but I'm starting to doubt that now. Because they, they are getting close to that now and if they grow a little bit more then maybe, maybe they will come into the regalis uh, size range. And here we see a, a whole branch of amber tree, liquid amber. As you can see there are more caterpillars on it. They range in size because they also differ in age. And the younger ones are smaller still. Here we have some feeding on amber tree. And I'm just so pleased it's going very well. These caterpillars are marvelous and amazing. Take a look at their horns. Wow, it's absolutely incredible. Thanks guys for watching. This, this was the Citheronia Azteca. As you can see the caterpillars are brown. Uh, well, the caterpillars of the hickory horn devil are green and have more fleshy colors. But there are also some differences in the adults. For example, the hind wings. Here you can see the color of the hind wings of Citheronia Azteca. It's almost colored like the forewing, while in Citheronia regalis the hind wings are orange with a little bit of white sometimes, but not colored like this. Citheronia azteca, the moth that I'm holding right now, comes from Central America. This individual was imported from Mexico as an egg and I raised it myself in captivity. Citheronia regalis, the true hickory horn devil, comes from North America, so their geographical location is also very different. And then there is another difference that you cannot see in this video. Citheronia azteca is actually bigger than Citheronia regalis. Although the moth that I'm holding here is not a good example of this, this is a very small female. Size is a variable trait. So that means that not each individual of this species will be bigger than each individual individual of the other species. Also in captivity, moths that uh, have been raised in captivity tend to be smaller than the ones you can find in the wild. So that really makes it difficult to demonstrate the size difference. You'll just have to take my word for it. Although by no means any of them are small, both of them are very big species. Both feed on walnut, on liquid amber, on amber tree, walnut, juglans, and many more plants that can be raised on in captivity. I believe cherries too. And I'm going to take this one inside now because it's shaking, which means it's about to fly and I don't want it to escape.